What's going on guys? It is Bernardo and yes, Flash Forge USA sent me their latest 3D printer and it's the Flash Forge Adventure 4. So we're going to go over some of the key features. So let's get right into it. Okay, so some of the key features on the Flash Forge Adventure 4 3D printer. So it can actually auto adjust its built plate, fully enclosed print chamber, which pretty soon when we do the unboxing, you're going to see it. Uh, it has a magnetic removable and flexible built plate, making it extremely easy to remove your 3D prints. A time-lapse video function. This is awesome for us videographers. It comes with a HEPA air filter system. Uh, this air filter system is pretty cool. Uh, I think you might have to replace the filter itself when it gets dirty. So hopefully in a future video, I'm going to show you guys how to change that. It has cloud printing, a remote viewing, which is awesome. So I can actually view my prints on the fly when I'm out and about. And the print volume is extremely big, which I'm super excited because I'm able to do like large prints rather than splicing it and doing, you know, and gluing everything together. And then last but not least, the best feature is the price tag. Now the starting price tag for this guy is $7.99. Now additional key features on the Flash Forge Adventure 4 3D printer. It comes with a 4.3 inch touch screen. Uh, 50 decibels quiet printing. I definitely need to test that out for you guys. Again, large built print. It does have resume printing from Power Outage. It does have that built in camera which I'm definitely gonna take advantage of it. I think the built-in HD camera is around 720p. I gotta double check on that for you guys. And it also has filament detection. If it runs out, it actually pauses the print job, which is awesome because the 3D printers that I've used in the past, if the filament has ran out, it's just constantly continuously printing. Now the Flash Forge Adventure 4 3D printer supports a lot of filaments. I'm pretty excited about this. There's a couple of them that I definitely want to purchase. Uh, to try out. The first one is PLA, which is extremely standard for a lot of these 3D printers. Uh, we have uh, PETG. We have ABS, which is another standard uh, filament for a lot of 3D printers. Uh, we have PC. And the last two, which is carbon fiber, PLA carbon fiber, as well as PETG carbon fiber. I definitely want to pick up the PLA carbon fiber to see how that works out. Uh, I know that's going to be expensive. All right, so we just went over some of the key features of the Flash Forge Adventure 4 3D printer and some of the type of filament that it supports. So let's get right into the unboxing and see how this guy actually looks and feels. All right, so what comes inside the box? We have one kilogram filament red, pretty color, awesome. We have our user guide, which I am definitely gonna go over and read it. We have our after sales service pamphlet. And I actually have like a cheat sheet of what's inside the box because I don't wanna tell you guys the wrong thing. We have our power cable. And inside this little bag of tricks, let's go over some of the items that are in here. So the first thing that we have is grease. We have our hex wrench set. We have a screwdriver. This right here is your unclogging tool. Be careful because this right here is kind of sharp. It, ha it does have a little plastic to uh, cover it so you won't poke yourself. We have a USB flash drive. I'm assuming it probably has a couple of 3D print files that you could test it out. You have a filament guide tube joint. 
and you have a 0 0.4 millimeter 265 Celsius nozzle. Now inside of the 3D printer, you already have a 0 0.4 millimeter 240 Celsius nozzle. So that means you got two of them. So that's pretty awesome. Good deal. I'm telling you, retail price of $7.99 with all this stuff, this is phenomenal. Now, if you have the machine, you know, facing you to the point that you are looking at the entrance of where you insert your filament, right? Uh, you got a couple of ports. You have an Ethernet port. I'm assuming you can actually hook it up to your network. That's awesome. You have your power button and as well as your uh, power port. So this is where you insert your power cable, which I'm going to power it on pretty soon. And on the front side, you have that 4.3 inch touch screen. Awesome. And then you have a USB. This is beautiful. Oh, I'm super excited. So I'm going to power it on, turn it on. All right, so I inserted the power cable inside the power port. I'm going to turn this guy on. Woo! Cool. I'm so excited. Uh, this is actually the first, I, I would say, professional 3D printer that I got in the lab. I've had other 3D printers in the lab, and they were the worst. Okay, that's pretty fancy. Awesome. First thing it wants you to do is choose your language. By default, it is set to English. So I'm going to, again, this is touch screen. So we're going to press that. Please connect to the Wi-Fi. Remote control can be achieved after successful connection to release the batch printing or multiple printers on the same model. I'm going to say I'm going to pass for now. I'll do that a little later. Then it gives you hello. Welcome to Adventure 4. Do you want to know latest features or basic operations? So you can't really do anything from here. So let's say latest features. Larger print volume. Platform can be heated to 110 Celsius. The extruder can be heated up to 265 Celsius. Now the nozzle that's already inside of the extruder is the 0 0.4 millimeter to 240 Celsius. But they do give you that 265 one. And you can just swap it out. Click next here. On the next screen, it says new and easy levering, nine point levering offset. This is how it uh, kind of auto adjusts the build plate for you. This is extremely important because I hate the whole doing it manually with the nozzle and the piece of paper. That's just a headache. So let's click next there. On the build plate, you have that magnetic flexible platform, which is awesome. Click next. Uh, new extruders, you got different nozzles. So Again, this model came with two nozzles. You have the 0 0.4 millimeter, uh, 240, as well as the 265 Celsius nozzle. So it comes with two, but you are able to get additional ones. And printing speed is up to 150 millimeters per second. Ooh, that's pretty fancy. Is time lapse video supported? Click next. Resume printing. No worry about powering off. Last one. Sleep after standby, saving energy, go on. All right, so the last step is to kind of balance out the extruder. And I'm going to let that happen, so I'm going to do go for it. So right now it's pre-configuring itself, adjusting it, balancing itself uh, so it could work. So hopefully I could start printing out of the box without even touching it. So right now it's doing everything for me. Oh, so far I'm loving this 3D printer. I cannot wait to start uh, printing with it. So I'm going to end the unboxing slash overview of the Flash Forge Adventurer 4 3D printer. Super excited that Flash Forge USA sent this guy to my lab to test it out for you guys. And I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.